Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kors from Kors Trading. And today we have another beautiful product from Bang Olufsen. It's the Bang Olufsen Beosun Explorer. It looks like this. And the designer is, I'm, I'm not sure, it's, it's called Above. I'm not sure if uh, I'm pronouncing it cor correctly. And the Bang Olufsen Explorer Bio Sound Explorer, sorry, Bio Sound Explorer has uh, the Type 2 anodized aluminium. It has a very nice texture, nice uh, feel onto the product, and it's very, very nice. It has a uh, fabric and also has a plastic on top. We have some inputs, we have the USB-C and we also has a reset button. I think this is the reset button or maybe the microphone. I'm not fully sure. If you look at the dimensions, it's uh, 81 times 124, 81. It's a small product. The speakers, there's only two small speakers inside this uh, uh, Biosound Explorer. It's a two times 1.8 full range drivers and the amplifier there's two times 40 watts class d full range drivers and inside this bio sound explorer there's a battery size for 2400 uh, milliamp hours battery and the weight is only 600 637 grams with the cabin so uh, we're gonna see what how we're gonna deassemble this one. Uh, I've done some little bit of research. I think we need to uh, remove this uh, this uh, plastic thing, and we also have some buttons here. It's very easy to turn on. It's on now, and if you're gonna close it, you can just hold it in, and it's off. So I'm gonna be a little bit rough for this, for this product. Um, let's try to see. Oh, oh. So it's on, on, off now. So safety first. Uh, let's try to see if we can get this off. Yeah, I think we need to put it in. Don't do this with your, with your Bio Sound Explorer. You just need to investigate how they built this product. Um, and I'm, I'm quite sure we need to uh, remove this top. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how we're gonna do it. Uh, it was very strange for me also. Let's try to grab some other tools. It's actually also my first time to remove and Make it de assembling. Oh, it's coming off. Here we go. I think we can just remove it. And here is the chop part. It's made in plastic, silicone. What we have here, we have some four screws we need to remove and I'm gonna speed up the process and see what we end with. I have I have fully removed the screws and also if you're gonna change the battery and you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna do that uh, process with this video, I'm I'm gonna watch this, watch this guide and how the hell we're gonna put this back on. It's glued on, but there is some guidance here you can uh, uh, use or we, we also have the the buttons. So let's try to see if we can put this on together again. So it makes sense to have the use this video to see if we can uh, get this. Uh, so let's try to see if we can get this on. If it is possible, yes, it is possible to put it put it back on again. So uh, it's actually useful. So let's try to remove it again to see how we're gonna probably remove it without damage the product. So have a nice uh, thin 
uh, screwdriver and put it in and and lift it up at the same time Here we go. So it's actually easy. And we also have removed the screws and see if we can remove the chop part. No. I think there are some screws here we need to remove underneath. Under. And maybe this is loose, but we don't have access. Joe, it's loose. So let's try. Oh, it's turning on. There we go. Don't. Uh, here we go. And let's try to disconnect the the connection. Uh, here we go. And this is the top part for Biosan Explorer. And we have uh, four screws. We need to unscrew. Uh, and yeah, let's do that. Also, um, let's talk about a little bit of the product. Uh, right now, uh, what I've seen, the Biolet Ex Biosound Explorer is very well built, but uh, the sound is so crappy. Uh, I don't think the Biosound Explorer reflect the brand Bang Olufsen uh, from the sound wise, but from the product and the material choice, and from the also design perspective, it's a very nice product, but it's also very hard to, to put some bigger drivers into the small cabinet. So I fully understand Bang Olufsen choice. And it's also a speaker from, it's from outdoor speaker, where you can uh, take it with you if you're outside with, in a beach or at, just adventure. So let's try to remove this one. And this is the PCB board for the charge bar. So we have that part in stock. So also this plastic part for the buttons. I'm gonna remove the screws. So next step is removing, there's two screws we need to remove, one here, one here, and let's do that. We have uh, removed the screws, uh, I'm not sure if we can pop it out or we can remove this one. Oh, and here's the cabin for the Bill Sound Explorer. And this will also be for sale. Oh, it's coming off. Nice. And here is the Bio Sound Explorer with the logo on. Put it here. And here is the the drivers. It's full range drivers, a one point eight on each side. So, uh, yes, I'm going to unscrew them. There's four screw on each side. And let's see what we're in with. We have now fully removed the, the screws. And I think we can just gain access. And I am very surprised that the speaker, is, uh, speaker driver is uh, not from uh, Bang Olufsen. And let's try to see what the hell they have got the drivers from and this is the 1.8 inch full range driver and I saw a brand is called Punkt Kille I, I don't know where the brand is from but I'm gonna investigate it and also leave it at the at, at, leave me a comment if you know this brand I don't know if it's Danish or uh, Germany, but yeah, it sounds like Danish, but we're going to put it here. And here is another one. Uh, they are just identical. Here 
Here we go. The other one. And here is the Bill Sound Explore without the drivers and the chop chop bar. But I can see some screws we need to focus on. So I'm gonna remove the screws and see if we can remove the button part. So uh, let's try to um, remove this. The button part has some sealing around it. And let's try to remove the cable. And I'm not surprised that we have found uh, a such a small, uh, such small uh, amplifier inside the build uh, sound explorer. We have some. We have the Wi-Fi antenna, and we also have some big capacitors around the board. So uh, I'm gonna remove all the screws. There's only three, what I can see, and let's see what we end with. And here's the last screw. And I think we can just lift it up. And here is the amplifier and power supplier. And we also have the antenna for the Bio Sound Explorer. That's a very small board. Put it here. And here is the button part for the Bio Sound Explorer. So uh, we also have this one. And inside here, I think there's the battery. And here's the ceiling. So uh, there's uh, two screws on each side. So let's remove that and see if we can get access to a small battery. Here's the last screw. And let's try to see if we can... Uh, oh, there's one cable here. And let's see if we can remove it. Yep. Whoa. That's nice. And this is actually the battery inside here. I'm not removing this because this will also be for sale. Uh, but let's try, maybe, let's, you know what? Let's try to see what type of battery they have used. I've never seen that battery, battery before. So um, let's see if we can open it up. Um, yeah, let's check a flat screwdriver and see if we can see what type it is. Coming off. Here we go. Okay. The, uh, this is just some sales battery, but uh, let's try to see if we can uh, get a closer look. But uh, this is uh, a 2500 milliamp hours and it is 7.4 voltage and it's made in China. So let's close it up again. And this will also be for sale. We have now fully removed all the uh, parts from the Biosound Explorer. And uh, let's try to a little bit organize what we have here. Um, so uh, all the parts at, are at the table. We have uh, here we have the the full range driver, and we also have the main board, the buttons, and we also have the aluminium cabinet in, inside the chassis chassis cabinet, the buttons, and we have the button part. And we have the buttons itself. We have the battery, and we also have the the fabric ca carbine. So uh, this was a fully deassembling process for the Biosound Pro. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.